Good morning everybody. Today is July 7th, 2019. It's 64 but feels like 69 here in North Idaho. And I'm Jody. Welcome to Moose Flats Farm. So the title of today's video is Lessons Learned, Lessons Learned in Life, Lessons Learned in the Garden. As you know, I work at Home Depot. Uh, a week ago yesterday, had an accident, got in a fight with a box knife, and I don't know who to say won, but I'm gonna warn you that I am going to show you the pictures of what happens and then the resulting stitches. But there's my thumb now. A week after I wound up with two stitches on the inside and 11 on the outside. Lesson learned. Don't be using a box knife. A, without your gloves on, and B, if you're mad, distracted, accidents will happen and then you'll pay the ultimate price. But now let's go check out the lessons learned in my crazy garden. And as you guys know, when we we were a little late in getting the, the beds in for some of the stuff, like the radishes. They bolted, it got too hot. Gonna have to go through and thin some of them out. I wanna collect some of the seeds, but the beautiful Chinese cabbage, it bolted also, it got too hot. Lesson learned, so far the peas behind the radishes are doing really good. So this was the first cabbage that I, that I planted. It was the biggest one. I put it in here in the raised beds. Not even really forming a head, maybe a little one on that one, but let's look at the ones that are in the ground. So this tells me I will always have a spot for these kind of plants in the ground. This guy's got a little head on him. This one is, that's my hand. That is huge. Got another medium small one. Medium small one. This one's getting huge. And then another small one here. But all of the cabbage that's in the raised beds are all kind of on the small side. Lesson learned. Don't put cabbage in the raised beds. But this cilantro is gotten huge and starting to get some flowers on it. The broccoli is coming along. And look, right down there, got a head of broccoli about ready to be picked. But all the broccoli is getting close to being ready. And I don't see any bugs. Look at this crazy dill. 
here's another cilantro. Hopefully it's still good by the time my tomatoes are ripe. But this pack of corn, it is almost waist high and I've got silk coming. I don't think we've ever had corn that tall this early. Let's check on the cauliflower, see if I see any flower buds. I do see some bug holes. Don't see any bugs, but don't see any flowers per se yet. But the potatoes have flowers. Nice and full. little fox gloves. And there's that poor pear tree that's still waiting to get in the ground. Scarlet runner beans are reaching for the stars. And I have had blossom drop. Geese all come here! Brought a waterer out and have it by the garden gate for the birds and turkey and Valkyrie, or the turkeys and Valkyrie are like, ooh, thank you, Mom. So I have been having blossom drop on my scarlet runner beans. I've been testing it to make sure they're getting enough water so it's not that but I do have a few beans that are starting to set on them. So hopefully we'll get some. I have the circle hose on them right now. The cucumbers I planted are really sad looking. Just barely growing. But, lesson learned, I'm going to start them like everything else in the house. But, oh my gosh, right there. Is it going to focus? I've got my first pepper that I see coming on. And these are the hot peppers over here. Uh, hi, Skeddy. Pepper with the flower, but not uber impressed with the eggplant. Another lesson learned, just like the peppers, they I got excited and planted them outside too early. It kind of stunted their growth. But this is the only cabbage that is in the ground or in the raised beds that's decent size. My oregano and mini sunflower. Yeah, it's like this cabbage. Nothing there. It will just wind up being straight chicken food. But those two scarlet runner beans I transplanted are Growing up, that one's all the way up there. But the tomatoes, got lots of baby, and this is a, one of the cherry tomatoes. 
and this is another one. I got a scarlet runner bean running up here with the regular green beans. And here's this one starting to twirl up. But I'm not the only one having a little funky with their green beans. Been talking with some gardeners at work and theirs aren't doing that great either. Ooh, I see what I need to bring over here so you will twine up. But I got lots of tomatoes coming on everything and my can't remember what I planted here. And of course the tag is washed off. Ah, ooh, tag. Ah, buttercup. Ah, my acorn squash. It's starting to take off. It's got some blossoms on it. But my Where can I get an angle at? Those tomatoes. But I got big guys starting to come on. They're kind of crinkly. So here's two more of the little cabbages. And it's like, you look at all my peppers and they're all squatty when I got more of the my butternut squashes my winter squashes my vines starting to come on this guy needs to come this way Looks like that cabbage. Nee, chicken food. And this mass of peas is supposed to be serendipity morning glory, which you can see down down here. And sweet peas. But that looks like regular old peas to me. Oh, which is fine. But all my little peppers are getting close to either having blossoms or blossoming. Ooh, look. There's another pepper. Ooh, holy cow. Totally missed those. Look, I got great big ones. Nothing on the eggplant front. Hi, Bernie. But these peas are supposed to be a mix of sweet peas and snap peas. I'd say by all the blossoms, they're just straight snap peas. That's okay. It gives me a snack while I'm out here. And then the Chinese cabbage. I'm letting it go to seed, but it doesn't look like it's setting any seed pods. Well, either way, it's going to have to get tied up because it's right in the walkway. And then my radishes that are blocking that eggplant and these couple of peppers that are getting buried have to get in here and pull those out for the chickens. Do 
do some training on this morning glory. It's not knowing it's supposed to climb the fence. New up the fence, my friend. Maybe that's got it. <laughs> this one, the pea's helping him, holding him up. These ones over here are figuring it out, sort of. And that little bok choy, cabbage, whatever, just bolted. But this squash, vine squash, is starting to go. Not quite tall enough to spin over. But look at those pretty purple pepper flowers. Um, the still de to be determined red onion bed because it's mostly in the shade. It's not growing as well as the Walla Walla bed which has got this crazy potato which is buried way down there somewhere. Well there's part of it popping up as you can see. But I've already got some onion scapes that are that I snipped off. And the onions look to be doing good even though they've got self-planted sunflowers growing in there. But look here, I've got zucchini, green zucchini coming on. Next couple days we'll be able to have a snack. I did remove some, like, this one. It's got blossom in rot. Completely forgot the spring that I need to add, well, sorry, need to add calcium to our soil. Oh, look, got more green ones there. Another one with blossom in rot. <coughs> Chicken food. Uh, the more I look, I'm going to have to bring some bone meal out. And I hate to do the overhead sprinkler, but it's the fastest way to get the bone meal down to their root level. But my bush acorns still, minus the potato, those two are still on the puny side. These two are starting to take off. Getting some male flowers. Don't see any female stuff, but it means we're getting close. Don't mind the weeds. But as you can see on these peppers that were just direct sown, it's a little early because they're uber tiny. But lesson learned. We'll remember in ground, you have to wait a little bit later. Hmm. <coughs> 
but the these guys need a little bit of water but the tomatoes in the ground are getting nice and tall the ones on the fence and they all have fruit on them never had fruit this early cool to see how much of it comes to fruition but look at this crazy really short really fat sunflower that just self planted itself right by the cabbage in between the tomatoes and then I've got that one there with the broccoli and dill but the hot peppers are doing a little better in the ground than the sweet peppers are looks like I'm going to be spending Sunday weeding But the sunflowers in the duck pen are starting to go. The ones that were in the greenhouse and I transplanted, they're getting really big. Not as big as last year. I don't know if they're going to reach the 12 foot mark. But they're getting really close to having blossoms open on them my massive sunflowers and one little petunia growing right there in amongst it all but my perennial sunflower is starting to take off and should be blooming here next couple weeks. The little marigolds in front are almost to the point that they're all starting to pop. But the giant squashes in the compost bin are starting to go crazy. That first vine I showed you and this one grew through the fence before I could get them trained not to. But I've got blossoms coming on them. like this guy. Let's see if I can pull him through. Pull him through. The wild rose is happy that I can't get in there and whack it back. But my little Clematis, it's grown in there and the irises is starting to bloom. But the guy in the pot, if I'd been out here earlier I could have gotten the, oh these blossoms are still open. But, and I've got, look at the inside of those male blossoms. Aren't they cool? And it looks like I've got fruit set on this vine. 
I'll keep an eye on it because I've got an other one there. If the first one starts to swell and grow, I'll trim the vine probably about right there so no more energy goes out to that any other fruit but to that guy. Got a little bee of some kind in there getting some pollen. Gonna help me do my job. Get me some giant squashes. In the greenhouse, my basil is taking off. Of course, now that it's warm, it's getting ready to flower. <sighs> but I do have cherries set on that one. Not seeing any fruit set on that guy. But in between the shovels, I do have fruit set on that one. And the carrots didn't do well in the greenhouse this year, so that pot looks really empty. Got some going in with these peppers. Darla's spinach slash wild viola petunia pot. Got a couple spinach. And it's weird, the lettuce that's towards the inside is doing so much better than the lettuce that's on the outside. But it's one of those, this is, when I planted it, it was kind of the wrong time of year to plant lettuce because it was getting hot. Lesson learned. This big guy has got a bunch of dried flowers, so hopefully got some fruit coming on him. And yes, those are as tall as they look. And like I said, I need to remember not to plant a tomato in the back corner. But my pepper pots, and it's weird, these ones over here are doing the best in the pots. But I do have some, let's see if I can, maybe, some, I think those are jalapenos coming on that one. Don't see anything on the other ones yet, but got all those crazy peppers. Go the other way. Peppers and tomatoes. These radishes haven't bolted yet. And I've got the turkeys coming into the greenhouse with me. But it doesn't look like they're turning into radishes. Collect the seeds from the other ones and try again this fall. But my weed oregano is doing really good. But isn't that a pretty garden to look at? And one of these years I'll get good at panos. Quick update on the lemon and lime in the house. I did prune them back because they were going absolutely crazy. And, or the lime was going crazy. The lemon was just dropping leaves like crazy. So pruned them back, gave them the black magic lights, 
which are a little easier on our eyes during the day. They're not that bright blue and pink, but they're both have new growth coming on them. This guy's got new growth coming down there. Oh, he did have, ah, there it is, that little thing right there. Camera doesn't want to focus on it, but that is a blossom. Just trying to keep everything contained. So I'm going to end today's video out here in the garden. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour. Going to be doing some weeding today and eating peas. Noticed last night when I came out that I had peas to snack on. It will make weeding the garden that much more enjoyable. Well, I hope you all have a good day and a good week. I love you and I'll see you on Thursday's video. Bye. You guys ready to go in? It is almost bedtime. So the easiest way I've found to put them in because Mike does have a little bit of an injury on his leg. We're just hoping that we don't have to put him down early as I catch him and the rest of them follow in theory. And I hope I got that on film since every time I go to video me doing that with them, it doesn't work out. But that's how it normally works out for me. <laughs>